Hey all, Russ here, RV here TV. Check out that view, isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that cool getting up early? Sun is just now starting to come up. Low town of Wakefield. We're heading back up to Lake Superior. We're going to go up to Silver City this morning. It's only about 45 miles. There's a state park up there, a place called Lake of the Clouds. Should be a pretty day to spend up there. But isn't this gorgeous? The sky is filled with smoke still from the Canadian wildfires. Kind of makes the uh, sunrises and sunsets purplish. Very pretty, but you can see the haze. All right, what do you say? Let's go check it out. Okay, we're going to jump on Highway 2 for about a mile, or less, cut through Wakefield. I stayed a little campground here, it was good, I got in uh, later in the afternoon. They got boating in here on the lake, but I just kind of relaxed and uh, wanted to get an early start today. Make a left on this uh, road 28 up here. We're gonna say so long to Highway 2 for a while. We will pick it back up later on, but we're gonna do a lot of uh, Upper Peninsula, the UP of Michigan exploring. Definitely want to get up close to the lake and then just kind of follow it along. All the way up through to Copper Harbor is the goal. Okay, make a left here. Town just waking up. We're up before them. <laughs> okay. Very busy time of year here, August. Up here in the UP. Campgrounds are full. Kids are playing, school's about ready to start, I guess, up here. And cooler weather. You want to beat the heat, this is where you want to be. There's our sunrise just peeking up right over the trees there. Cool. There's a campground right along the shore of the uh, lake, but I stayed in a little bit. They got all kinds of sites in there. It was cool, busy, but decent. Well, we got a few miles to do. You know, these roads are so tree-lined, it's you don't see much. So as we mosey our way up there, uh, I'll just film the good stuff, huh? <laughs> I got a full tank of fuel. I filled up last night before I parked. All stocked up with food. So we should have a nice little ride all the way up there. Sit back and enjoy the ride. A 
so far, not much. I spotted a few deer, you know, you really got to keep an eye out, especially in these wooded areas where them little guys don't pop out right in front of me. <laughs> Would That wouldn't be good for them or me. But right up the road here, we're going to start trucking north and we'll get out of the direct sunlight. So it should be right up here soon. Okay, there's a little community of Berglund. On the right was a huge lake. Looks like camping up here. Going to be making a left on Highway 64. Should be coming up right, right up here. And we just got a few miles left to get us back up to Lake Superior and Silver City. Yay! Here it is. Woohoo, here we go. And we're out of that direct sun in our eyes. Yay. Not much traffic at all. We're about the only ones on the road this early in the morning. Well, I keep seeing signs, detour ahead, road closed. Here we go again. <laughs> I'm gonna have to uh, go around. I don't know how many of these I have run into this summer, but they got a short window to work on roads and it looks like I have to make a right And we're only about four miles from Silver City, straight ahead. Darn it. Okay, here we go. Well, I stopped and checked the phone. This is going to be about a 25-mile uh, roundabout detour, at least 25. So we're back into the sun. Uh, I'll kick the cameras on when we get closer. Yay, made it. There's our road right up there, but I've seen a sign here. Let's stop and check it. I needed a break anyway. That was a quite a long ways around here. Historic site to the Cranberry Marsh, Cranberry River. The route was used by the first settlers. Early 1900s also known as a cranberry road cool all right well we got about a good 10 miles we got to cut back down to silver city and actually this road here tomorrow when we keep on trucking, we'll be uh, using the same road. Oh well. Look at this. We got the sun behind us. Yay! <laughs> lake is right here. We are right on the lake. You can't see it because of the trees. Wow, look at all the nice homes in here too. Okay. About 10 miles or so we should be in Silver City. What a nice place. They all got lawns. This is definitely a recreation area. And almost zero cell service here. I got one bar 
on the phone. The state park up here is like Porcupine State Park. Then that lake is Lake of the Clouds. That's what our, we're shooting for to see today. And look at this. This is where we would have popped out right here, this road. So that three, four miles turned in probably more than 25. Oh well. We're here. Yay. Made it. Welcome to Silver City. Ooh. I see a little park on the right. We say, let's stop. Get our first look at Lake Superior this morning. Well, that's a pretty big hotel there. Cool. Alright, let's check her out. City. Wow. Everything's so green. That fall colors here are just gorgeous. Looks like we still got that haze. You can see it across the water there. Okay, here we are back. Lake Superior. Probably all the people that stay at the hotel use this. Look how calm, no wind. That's probably unusual for these great lakes, I don't know. Perfect weather though. There's your chairs, you just set out. Watch a good sunset. Look at them birds out there. <laughs> They're enjoying it. People watching. They're doing the people watching. say let's go find that uh, state park in Lake of the Clouds. Shouldn't be that much farther down the road. I uh, found a RV park. It's actually a hotel motel that has RV sites. A reserved one for me. Yay. For tonight. So we're spending the night out here. Why not? Looks like hotels. I'm sure they got cabin rentals, Airbnbs, you name it. It's out here. see a pull-off up here. Oh, the sign for the state park. This will work. Porcupine Mountain State Park. at the end of the road dead ends out here according to the maps trying to research it look how clear that water is isn't that clean looking 
Still got summer flowers going. This is perfect. Well, we say, ready for uh, a little exploring, do a little hike. I was looking for bugs on the lens of the camera. <laughs> you know, that's happened to me quite often, especially this time of year. But keeping the cameras mounted on the outside gives much better quality video. Wow, nice looking little beach there. Okay, right up here to the left should be that little RV park and motel. Yep, there it is. We'll be back there later on. Well, the visitor center is closed for repair. They got a temporary one up the road here, so we got to go find that. Because this is fee based. I think you have to pay a fee to come up in here. Nice little roadside park off to the right. Oh, yeah, look at that. Little day use area. There's campgrounds in here, too. I tried to get in them, but they were sold out. Oh, a little uh, store there. Buy ice and stuff. And right here should be the entrance. Yep, where that rig's coming out for the campground. Here's, yep, here's the temporary visitor center. Wow, it looks like it's a ski lodge. Well, no skiing for me. <laughs> joke, joke. Nice and green, pretty in here. They definitely get winter here. You wouldn't think it's uh, hilly enough, but I guess it is for skiing. And I see a ski lift. Takes you up there. Heck yeah, that's a ways up there. You could do some serious skiing here. Right, get parked. I'll go buy my pass to go on into the Lake of the Clouds. You can hike everywhere here, day, day use, overnight. All kinds of places. Look at this day hikes and overnights. Was it about six more miles back in there? Back into um, where the Lake of the Cloud? Lake of the Clouds. Thing? Yeah, I'd say about six. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Oops. Oh, sorry. 
Yeah, this is a big time ski lodge. Look at this place. All the wood. Sure smells good in here. Got a lot of fans going. Pretty warm in here. Holds a lot of people. There's a grill. It's not open now. You can buy something to eat. Big old fireplace. There you go. Snowing outside. You're going to ski. Ski the porkies. <laughs> Bet it's popular. There's our little grill restaurant. Well, I'd say we're at the end of it. This is a big place. A lot of people probably come here in the winter. Big old A-frame room. Well, we say go find that Lake of the Clouds. There's a short trail, which is good for me <laughs> once we get up there. Disc golf course. I never tried that. You know, down in Quartzsite, that is huge. A lot of people play that disc golf. A lot of trees on these slopes here. It's not like a big mountain, but it's pretty cool for a local area, I bet. All right, we say let's get going. It was uh, 12 bucks to get in here for a day pass. six miles. Not bad. Wow, is this packed full of trees though? Look at this. Wow. <laughs> like driving in a tunnel, isn't it? <laughs> There's some hiking trails. Okay, well, we'll see what we can find on our way. haven't even seen a place good place to pull off but still kind of cool huh we got to be close to the lake oh cool yay here's a little place want to stop heck yeah <laughs> Oh, they got picnic tables and stuff here. Cool. All right. Well, let's do a little exploring. Cool. A storyboard. This is a really nice little picnic area. I don't think we're super close to the lake, though, here. I hear water running, too. Wow, this is hard to read. From Lake Superior to the mountains. It says they look like a crouching porcupine. That's where it got its name. 
Also talking about mining, probably copper and stuff up here. Interesting. Clear up into the 1930s. Let's go find that water. I can hear it. I'll be darned. What is this? An old mine shaft, huh? You can really hear the water running down there. Had to be copper, copper mine. What do they call it? Float copper they get? Something like that. Rocks are full of it. There's a little sign here. Let's see what it says. Carp Lake Mine lives. It's full of bats. They come alive. Oh, my goodness. So that little mine cave is full of bats. That's home. Water goes across the road over here, and look at this little pond. Like a little spring coming out. This is really well kept here. Pretty awesome. Who'd know, huh? There you can see just a sea of trees. There's Mighty Lake Superior. Definitely hazy though. Those trees are so thick you just get lost in that stuff. This kind of dead ends out here once we get up to that Lake of the Clouds. There's a good look at what it's like to drive the road. I mean, it's like driving in a tree tunnel. <laughs> you don't see anything but trees. Pretty darn cool. There is zero cell service here, absolutely nothing. Also, I'm in uh, East Coast time now. We crossed over into it somewhere back between uh, Wakefield and coming up here to Silver City. For more information on my travels, be sure to check out my website, rvrtv.tv. There you can sign up for my free newsletter, put one out twice a month on the 5th and 20th now. Keeps you up to date on uh, what's coming up on RV or TV, different travels, pictures, puzzles. Also you can sign up for free screensaver downloads on the website. And I have a merch store coffee mugs, hats, shirt, plus a cookbook, coloring books, all kinds of cool stuff which helps support the channel in future videos. Once again, it's rvrtv.tv. A few vehicles here. Must be another hiking trail. Yep. Oh, they got their gear out. That's probably where they do overnight hikes. Okay, I guess you can park here and walk in without paying. <laughs> but 
We already paid back at that uh, visitor center. So we're good to go. Windy little road up through here. Definitely climbing up a little bit. Don't know much about this. I'd have seen it online. Reviews are really good. Supposed to have a spectacular view of a lake. Rental RVs, you see a lot of that. Actually, it's a good way to travel. Rent you a little Class C and see the world. Well, this looks like good as any. Well, we say we'll go for a little walk. Grabbed a couple extra batteries in case I need them. Lake of the Clouds Overlook, 300 feet. I like that. <laughs> My hiking days are kind of behind me now. But short little walks and hikes, and I can handle that. Pretty big parking lot. You can park a big rig up here. This is probably where they do overnight trips, too. Got trails, a cabin, probably an old cabin, a little map of the area. We want to do the overlook, that's where we're heading. A few signs here, like at the Cloud Scenic area. Ooh, that's a view we're going to see. Remarkable Gorge lies about two miles south of the Lake Superior. Porcupine Mountains Wilderness State Park. Big map of the area. We just drove through there. Tree Tunnel. That's what they ought to name that road. Tree Tunnel Highway. And just another map of the area. And watch out for bears. Pick up your waist, pets, all that. Black bears are unpredictable. I bet they are. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Three hundred feet. We can handle that. Nice little bench. Paved path. These must have been like replanted after foresting. They're all about the same size. See a lot of dead trees laying on the ground there. our sign. Danger. Cliff ahead. Stay away from the edge. Ooh. I see the overlook. Here you go. Oh, cool. There's the lake. Wow. This is quite a view here. River down there feeding the lake. Oh, there's a little more of a walkway. We ought to walk down that far. I can handle that. But 
This is the overlook for Lake of the Clouds here in Porcupine Mountain Wilderness State Park. Beautiful Michigan. I spotted some storyboards down here. We'll go check those. Really nice uh, wooden walkway. That is down there a little ways. That's a few hundred feet down there. I can hear people's voices down there. So this must be where uh, they overnight camp too. Probably all these trails. That wind really is uh, blowing through here. It kind of feels good. It's humid, very humid here. Here's those storyboards. Critters, watch the wildlife. All kinds of it here. Bears, birds, eagles. What a view. Lake of the Clouds Overlook. More about wildlife. Living on the edge. Yeah, we're right on this cliff. A little bit about the geology here. It was way back. The lake's over a mile long. Probably freezes over. You probably do ice fishing here, I bet. There's the cliff. Mile long lake. Wow, it's pretty up here. I can see why people want to come up here. That's primitive camping. That's a tent. And a can of beans, huh? <laughs> morning. Good morning. Hike up here. This was the danger. Don't fall off area. <laughs> Should be able to get a little better view up here. Oh yeah. Storyboard. Same map. The area. Yeah, you can hear people down there on the trails. Well cool, glad I came up here. We're kind of at the end of the road too, this is as far as you can drive. Well, let's see if I can get out of here without tumbling down here. <laughs> it's all hard rock. It'd be quite a fall. Whoops. <laughs> Made it. <laughs> to the van we go. Well, I still have a little time to kill, so uh, 
Maybe we'll drive back to that roadside uh, area when we first start getting into the Lake of the Clouds. Pull off, check out Lake Superior. Miles wise, since we left uh, Wakefield, of course we went on that detour. That added quite a few miles, but should only have been 45 miles from uh, Wakefield up to Silver City. Then we got to be a good 10, 12 miles back into here from Silver City. made it out. Yeah, I guess you can park down here and hike in, then you don't have to pay. That's a pretty good low hike from down here all the way up to that overlook. There's a backpacker. Pretty cool, especially if you're young. What an adventure to be on to come up in here. Nice cool weather. Camping with the bears. <laughs> Alright, we say let's go find that little uh, park. I see smoke. Oh, that's that little store. They got picnic tables out front, so you can probably get something to eat there. Ah, oh, that campfire smells good. Okay, this should be it right up here to the left. Yeah, I can uh, make a little lunch here. Really don't want to go to the RV park yet. It's still too early. Get something to eat. Enjoy this view. Can't really tell that campground's in there. A little boat launch. And nice, clean, clear water. You can just see the bottom. Mini Ocean, Lake Superior. As far as you can see, and still that smoke haze, but it doesn't matter. Pretty day to be out here. I just noticed this sign up here. There goes a happy motorhome. 107th Engineer Memorial Highway. We got some plaques here for it. Honoring World War I and World War II veterans right here at this little roadside of park. 107th Engineer Memorial Highway. That is cool.
Well, what a perfect little place here. Lots of driftwood, huh? Wind's picking up, so the water's getting a little choppy. Non-stop little waves hitting the beach there. Here's your Zen moment from Lake Superior. The only thing I'd say up here, you have zero cell service, so if, you need, if you're in need of that, <laughs> good luck. Of course, I got Starlink with me, so tonight I should have internet okay. Well, here's home for the night, Silver Sands Hotel and RV Park. He's got three RV sites in front, and they're rebuilding this whole place, total remodel, putting in a big RV park in the back of it, plus rooms. He says all kinds of people come up here in the winter for snowmobiling and skiing. Then in the summer, they actually have a private beach here that you can swim across the road. But there's your view of this uh, Porky Pine Mountain Wilderness State Park right on beautiful Lake Superior, crystal clear water. I debated on whether to come up here or not. I was just going to head straight over like for Copper Harbor and all that, but I'm glad I did. This was kind of a last minute decision to come up this direction. But it's uh, cool. Got to see that Lake of the Clouds. What a view out there, wasn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, next video, we're going to head over to Hancock and Houghton and go up the peninsula up towards uh, Copper Harbor, Michigan. Can't wait. Journey continues. Talk soon.